Hi guys, hope all is well with everyone today. So as the title says today, I'm doing my favorites for, um, excuse me, for my favorites for January. So let's jump right in because I have quite a few and I want to talk a little bit about each and every um item that I have here today. So first of all, I have can two candles and they're both from Bath and Body Works. And this first one is Rio, the, the Rio Red Guava. And as you can see, it is <laughs> on its end. Oh my goodness. If you want, uh, we're gonna, I hope this video is not long today. I really am trying not to. If you want a nice tropical candle, this one is for you. It is, it smells good. If you know what guava smells like, it smells like guava with a tint of vanilla. It's just like a great summer candle, spring candle, just any kind of feel like a springy feel this candles for you I it's now winter I still burn it it still smells good it's a good candle so if you can run out I got this actually um on the set on the semi annual sale so I know they're kind of be pricey they're kind of pricey back they're pricey the price has gone back now but um you know if you can try try to see if you can grab these grab this one and this other one too is good and this is the ski lodge and you probably saw these in my in um my haul about Bath and Body Works, but this oh my goodness, this is the ideal winter candle. It smells so good, and it looks like that. And I burned it a couple times. It is just cabin roast marshmallow candle. This is what it is: a marshmallow with a vanilla and some um I believe on the back it says yeah smoky vanilla in a um rich argan wood. This is a woody lodge fire, evergreen. It smells so good. So if you go camping or you have a fireplace and you roast marshmallows, burn this candle. Okay, so next, my next love of love, my love of love of besides beauty, well, it's part of beauty, I should say, is fragrance. And I got this this um, Be Joyful um, perfume from, it's a uh, Love This Box. And I got it from Bath & Body Works. And it was a Christmas gift, and this is what it looks like. It is so cute. I feel like it's like Jingle Bell all year round. And it smells so good. It is like a passion fruit berry flavor fragrance. A passion fruit. I'm horrible for sometimes describing scents. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit and berry. That's what I could say. With maybe a little tint of mango, maybe? Yeah, so passion fruit, mango, yes, and berries. That's definitely what it is. It's like a bunch. This is like spring in a bottle. This is spring in a bottle. That's what this is, but it smells so good. So if you can try to get out, try to try to get this. Oh, this is like my go-to. Uh, I, I sprayed sparingly. So anyway, this is my Chloe by Chloe. Um, this is just Chloe. It's by Chloe. This is just a nice lily summery fragrance it smells so good oh my goodness like if you don't have this in your life oh my goodness like get this in your life it smells so good i can't ever stop saying that um i actually got this out also as a um christmas gift and i'm loving it i this is like my go-to besides my next one that i always um wear as well and um yeah it's just a nice light fragrance um, I would say daytime, a daytime fragrance, and you could get away with, I did say summer, but you could get away with this in the winter, just in the daytime, I would definitely go for this one, and the next one I have is Dulce by Dulce, Dulce, Dulce by Dulce Gabbana, yes, and this is Dulce, and this is more an evening um, fragrance, it's just a nice florally, with maybe a hint of, let me see. Mm, I don't, I can't catch it. Maybe a hint of, mm, not vanilla. Just a hint of like a rose, um, like maybe like a rose um, flavor, fragrance I should say. Yeah, like a rose, but it's really good. It's really, it's nice. I love the bottle. It's a nice little elegant bottle with a cute little top on top. Like, I really love it. This is just a nice, elegant, going out at night, spritz here, spritz here, and you're gone. Don't rub it in. Just spritz and spritz, and you're gone. It is great. 
And the next one I have is um, Love is Heavenly, and this is a body mist by Victoria's Secret. And this is definitely, definitely a go-to um, for the summer. Um, I've been wearing it in the winter, because I really don't care, but this is definitely a go-to summer. This is just a nice body mist you could just splash on. Even after you have a shower or something, it is so cute. Um, this is for $10, I believe. Yes. It has a cute little top. On, on the top, it says Victoria's Secret. I hope you can see that. Right there. And it's really, 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 really a good fragrance. Okay. Next, I have a little beauty. And this is my... Mer Everybody asks me, like, what do you use on your face like to prime your makeup? Primer. And I'm going to do a whole video... I'm going to do a side note. People, you need a primer for your face. You need a primer for your eyes. I'm going to do, like, I'm doing my homework right now on it. I am going to do, it's going to probably be a long one. I have over maybe 10, 5 to 10 primers that I'm going to recommend that everyone should try. Um, I'll give you up oily skin, dry skin, combination skin. I'm going there. Because I've been hearing too much friends talking about, oh, I don't use a primer. I'm like, What? So that means you wake up and it's throwing, that means you will just wake up and it's throwing makeup on your face. You don't cleanse your face. You don't tone your face. What? People, oh, don't let me get into that. I'm going to do a, look out for it. A primer video is coming soon. So anyway, <laughs> sorry. Don't want to do that. Get off track. Let me get back on track. So anyway, this is the Remo Stay Matte Primer. And I know it's matte and if you have dry skin. But as you know, I always use my glycerin underneath that, you know, I, this is like my holy grail. For when I do my skincare, and then I put um, a dab, a pea size. Then I go in with this, and I just, you know, dab it in here, here, and here, and I'm good to go. So that is what I use. I do my makeup. One of the things I've used. I am also, I've got to love this. It's going to probably be, this is the baby um, skin in um, instant pore eraser. And I know everybody probably seen this, but I just started using it, and I'm going to probably use it for the next month or so. So look out for this one. It's going to be in the primer video, even though it's not a primer. But it's, at least I'm still going to say it does good. It I am using it today and, of course, I'm using it today and the primer does work with that and it works good with that because it really does. If you have little pores here, like I have many, many pores, it does um, minimize it, like really. And it makes the skin so nice and smooth. It reminds me of my e.l.f. primer that I use. It has like a nice serum feel to it and I have dry skin so, and it keeps me nice and mad it's all day so definitely my remo primer is really good even though it's a matte look it keeps me hydrated when i use my glycerin and i'll do a whole little video on my primer i'll go deep deeper in that search so next i have the moisture and vitamin b5 weightless oilness ladies gentlemen whoever is out there listen to this I'm going to zoom this in because you need to see this. Like, you need to see this. I'm going to go all the way into... Do you see that? Go and get this spray. I saw this on um, Glam Twins, I believe. And they are two good... You know, their sisters are twins. Good girls. Cute, beautiful girls. And I happened to see their... I think it was maybe their December favorites. And I saw them mention this. And I was like, oh, you know, I always want something when I have my hair. Not to feel way down, but still has that sheen. This is it. I have, my hair has looked so dull sometimes, and when I use this, oh my goodness, it's like I did a new washing set, and I'm ready to go. Like, I don't care if you have natural hair, um, process hair, uh, extension, you need this, a B5 weightless oil mist in your routine. It will bring your hair to life. I'm going to zoom it again. Ladies, gents, whoever's out there, get this in your life. It's holy grail. Okay, so now we're going to go into some body scrub. And this is the Sweet Cinnamon um, Pumpkin Body Scrub Sugar and um, Shea and Sugar. Oh my goodness, this is so good. This was also in my haul, and I will show you what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. It it smells, when I saw pumpkin and spice, I was like, ooh, pumpkin and spice? It smells so good. It has a little pumpkin, but the, you could more smell the cinnamon. So if you don't mind cinnamon, then definitely try this. It leaves, like, I don't know if I can say it, it leaves your skin so nice and smooth. It's, you will, listen, if you have those feet, you need this. It leaves your feet so nice and smooth. And after you finish with that, um, using this, and you leave it on, you should wrap your feet 
um, with like a plastic bag or a Reynolds wrap, um, plastic wrap, and leave it on for about maybe five, ten minutes, ten minutes the most. And let me tell you, when you wash it off, your skin is so smooth. You moisturize it and you can put on your socks. Oh my God. You, oh, can I, I can't even go into how nice it is. It is the most, oh, that's like at the spa. It's like at the, literally at the spa. Okay. And last but not least, and I've realized I've never talked about this. I've been using this for about a year. I talk about my skincare, my routine, and I have not talked about, and I know everybody knows this, my Dr. Brown. This is my Dr. Brown peppermint soap. And if you don't know about this, <laughs> you live on the cave. This is the best thing to use on your skin. And hopefully, well, if your skin is not real sensitive, but mine's sensitive, so, and dry, so it works good. I will say it is strong. You need to dilute it. Do not use it just out the bottle it will burn down there yes it will it's real strong but i mean if you like that tingling sensation then by all means that's a little tmi but definitely and um this is my number one in my hygiene routine like i use this i have used this on my face and i don't know i got a little pimple and i'm not gonna blame on it but it is strong so i, I haven't used it again but it does wonders on my body to my body it's really nice Okay, Jay. It does um very, very, very. It's 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 amazing. I can't complain. It's 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 a good good soap. I don't want. I can't even talk anymore about that soap. It's just amazing. It's it leaves your skin um refreshed. In the summer or the winter, you just feel like a nice fresh feeling. If your stomach, if your skin feels a little dull, it just brightens you up. So it's amazing. It's really amazing. So anyway, that's it. That's all my ten things I'm loving for January. Um, check out, I just did one for, if I was the same get up, I'm doing the, the, I want to do a 10, but I also did a 10 that I will not be repur repurchasing. It was a waste of my money and I'm so mad about it. So check that video. I'll link it below and I'll see you soon guys. Bye.